Hi, how are you today? Here I am out on the Somerset Levels. I'm at uh, Shapwick Heath and I've just walked out here because I wanted to be in the environment of nature and, and just share share with you a little. And uh, it's been a really, really beautiful day. It started with a lovely sunrise and uh, yeah, it's just been very, very special. So, just taking a moment and just like tuning in to the nature here and uh, I don't know if you can hear the birds. It's just before dusk, everything's settling down and uh, I try to get out every day. I try to take a walk, get out into nature because it's so healing. And I've been talking a lot, making videos and sharing about the importance of the nervous system. And I have a workshop coming up soon, Healing Stress, Anxiety and Fear, on the 9th and 10th of December. And I want to share why it's so important that we do this, why we heal these things and what they are. So, as you know, because I'm sure it's been affecting you. We've been going through an enormous amount of stress with what's happening globally. We've had three years of incredible anguish and stress, um, psychological overload through the media, through what's happened with our, our families and friends. And now if you're at all tuned into the news, as I'm sure you can't avoid it, there's incredible impact happening on us on a daily basis, first of all with one disaster and then another disaster and our heartstrings are being tugged at the whole time. And the interesting thing about the brain is that it cannot differentiate between um, a real event or an imagined event or an event that you're witnessing. So when you're watching the media, when you're seeing pictures of horrors, and wars and uh, other scare things. To your nervous system, that feels the same as if you're actually going through that, that you're actually going through a war or, or um, a climate disaster or um, an emergency um, pandemic or whatever. It has the same impact. So what we're experiencing psychologically, emotionally, spiritually at the moment is a huge, huge, level, an unprecedented level of stress on our nervous systems. And the more we're exposed to this, we have some, hi, <laughs> some visitors. Everybody's out here on the, um, on the levels enjoying the beautiful air. The more we're exposed to this, the harder it is for our nervous systems because it's, it becomes, just becomes more and more strained the whole time. It's a bit like stretching out. Our nervous system is like stretching out an elastic band and it's got so much stress, stretch, and if you keep stretching, stretching, when you let it go, it doesn't rebound anymore. It doesn't go back to what it was originally. It actually then stays really slack and it can't take any more stretching. And that's how our nervous system is. So in my life, and I've just been writing about it in the um, Healing Stress, Anxiety and Fear workbook, help book for you, and I'm now working on an autobiography. In my life, I personally have gone through enormous amount of stress and challenges. And in those years, I have acquired certain um, understandings and approaches on how to heal this. I've I've gone through. Can you hear the ducks? <laughs> Let's just listen. They're beautiful, aren't they? I've been through so many things you cannot imagine what I've endured and coped with. And I have managed to bring myself back each time. And, um, and now you're witnessing another time because I had the most horrendous summer and I'm bouncing back, and I'm bouncing back because I understand how to approach the difficulty of um, navigating through these stressful periods, how to actually um, keep your nervous system in a healthy state, 
to be able to rebound once it's been stretched out for it to come back within what I call the window of tolerance. Um, and there are little things, and this is what I'm teaching in the workshop and in my trainings later on, there are very, very important ways that you can deal with life. So no matter how big the load that you cope, and this is all about um, building resiliency in your nervous system, building capacity. So I talk a little bit, um, you might have heard me talk about um, if things were overwhelming, just to take a tiny little bite-sized piece of it at a time and not try to tackle the whole problem. Uh, to breathe, working with the breath, um, to be able to resource yourself, to give your, your body the opportunity of building oxytocin. And there are many, many um, steps forward. And when you learn these steps, life suddenly becomes much, much easier. So what I understand is that although everything imaginable in the environment is currently weaponized against us and that life can feel absolutely crushing and overwhelming and all around us people seem to be getting ill and our relationships falling apart and um, we're under threat of losing jobs and homes and so on that we are beings of infinite light, infinite capacity and we can draw upon this if we can learn how to just trust the wisdom of our bodies in a really deeply embodied way that we can draw upon this wisdom. You can draw upon the wisdom of your own body and to build it and work with it so that you don't go under because we have a big task ahead of us, all of us. We have a very big task of building the new earth of being able to support our families, to be able to go through this storm that we're currently in and to come back, come through the other side and be stronger and better and to have more wisdom and more capacity to build a life for ourselves and our families that's infinitely better than what we've been going through. And we can do that, we can do that together. And um, as I said, I've had a really, really tough life and it feels to me like um, my role in this lifetime is to help people to lead the way, to guide the way through um, these terrible difficulties. And when I say that, I'm not saying that in a, um, uh, what's the way, um, I can't think of the word, that I'm doing it because I have been learning from other people. So I'm not doing that in the way that I know and, and you know there's something special about me. I've just tapped deeply into my own being and it just gives me so much joy to be able to share um, the understanding that I've had through these experiences and to help us all build the love and to build the capacity. So let's just take a moment because I'm almost coming to the end of what I want to share and let's just be still for a moment and just to breathe into that possibility that we can heal together and that this workshop is a step on the way to that and that if you want to attend I can help you just contact me or if you have other things I can do my best to help you so just breathing in together and imagine yourself in this beautiful place. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Blessed be. May your life be blessed and filled with happiness.